your state rep, a man of practicality, a man of principle, a man of increasing power and importance in the Commonwealth of Massachusetts. May I introduce your state representative, Matthew Patrick. Wow. Do, do you think that it's important for me to continue in re my efforts and my colleagues' efforts to reform the Massachusetts House of Representatives? Yeah. Do you think it's important that we have a democracy in the birthplace of democracy in the new world? Yeah. Right now, we don't have that. We don't have that. Your town meeting, your town meeting is more democratic than our House of Representatives is. And it's got to change. It's been like that for too damn long. I'm sick of it. I'm sick of it. But I'm fed up with it. I'm fed up with playing the good guy and, and turning a blind eye towards everything I see up there. Uh, one of the other things that we have to do is uh, is distribute the power that the speaker has accumulated in all these years. Right now, the speaker appoints 78 leadership positions, chairs and vice chairs, majority leaders, assistant majority leaders. Uh, what else, Tim? We've got, anyway, there's about 78 of them. 53 are paid. Uh, the other 25 are, you know, they can't wait to get paid. <laughs> and they're waiting in line, and consequently, they're even more indebted to the speaker. See, they're not going to do anything to irritate him. They're not going to. They're, they're rarely going to vote against him. They may get a buy on a vote. You know, they may be able to vote against the speaker once in a while uh, when he doesn't need their vote or when it's uh, it affects their district. But I'm telling you, the speaker maybe in, in the 10 years that I've been there has lost twice. I've seen him lost, lose two floor votes. Two floor votes, okay? That's, a, that's too much power in the hands of one person. And that's why I say it's not a democracy. It's, it's a small uh, banana republic up there. And that's unfortunate. So I'm going to keep working on that until I either, they either get me out of there or uh, something changes, and, and I'm counting on you folks uh, for your support there. It's been very uh, uh, humble, uh, very respectful, and uh, they wanted him to run for Congress, for Delahunty, and he said, you know what, I'm going to do my, my work in the community first. And to me, that's, that said something right there. This guy is going places, and I want you to give Joe Kennedy a big hand. The first time I had an opportunity to meet Matt was actually at a Return Peace Corps volunteer event uh, here on the Cape. I think it was over at um, Cape Cod Community College back about uh, a year ago or so. And then we uh, had an opportunity after that, the Peace Corps kind of uh, built a little bit on that event and have been doing a lot of outreach um, here on the Cape to try to uh, build some momentum for some more volunteers. And so we uh, called in for a radio show and I uh, had an opportunity to hear a bit about what Matt had done in Ghana and the difficulties that uh, you have all those, I won't say how many years ago, but a little while ago, <laughs> um, in, <laughs> in rural parts of undeveloped Africa and how difficult it is to uh, try to assemble groups to come together and to organize people together to really find what is the common interest of a community and figure out the ways to help them and to move that forward and the contribution that you can make by that comes with really only throwing yourself at it day after day after day and earning the respect of the people that you're there to serve and it's hour after hour, it's day after day, week after week, month after month, and for Peace Corps volunteers, year after year. And it's something that <coughs> it was kind of shocking to me when I went on my own experience. You get 
you know, thrown down in the middle of a country that you've never been, in a language you don't speak, uh, in a community with people you've never met, and you know that you're there to try to help and serve, and so you just kind of assume that they'll know that. They don't. <laughs> you end up there, I'm sure it happened to you. Everybody used to think that I, Peace Corps volunteers are members of the CIA. Yeah. <laughs> As if either one of us is going to blend in in Africa, right? <laughs> <laughs> um, but they're skeptical. And it takes, Peace Corps will tell you, it takes about a year for you to earn their trust and for you to earn their respect before you can really start to create the change that you're there to, to work on. And I've, since that time, since we had that uh, opportunity to meet over a year ago, and since I heard some of his stories and they mir mirrored my own, my own experiences in terms of how hard you have to work just to convince people that you're trying to do the right thing. And how hard you have to, the sacrifices you have to make to earn that trust and respect. And I, after that conversation, that radio show, I, um, it struck me. And I looked into it and I've, I've followed Matt since. And learning, you know, that somebody takes that experience that they had back when they were a young men, like I did, and then that he turns that into becoming what comes back and is a community organizer. And then after that starts a nonprofit and works at the nonprofit for years looking at the causes and where you can affect change that is affecting the issues of the local community and how to build upon that, bring people together to fight for something that is going to change their lives for the better. Person by person, group by group, organization by organization, saving not necessarily millions, but starting with hundreds and then thousands and tens of thousands of dollars for individuals and working families that means so much to them. And to convert that then into running for state representative. And for now, believe fifth term. It's a tremendous accomplishment. And it's only because Matt has been able to do it the right way. And so yes. thank you for everything that you've done. Hey, I've got you all too long. Thank you very much for coming and, and stay in touch. So thanks, thanks so much, everybody. Thank you.